Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate effects on one track in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I've already recorded a MIDI part right here, which we could see by double clicking the item. We can see we have a kick, some percussion, a clap, a clave, and hi-hat. Let's hear it now. And this MIDI part is triggering multiple instances of resample matic 5000, as we can see right here. We have a kick, our clap, the clave, the hi-hat, and the percussion. And as you can see, as we go through each sample, I've already adjusted the volume for each, and also on the hi-hat, I readjusted the pan to be slightly left and the percussion to be slightly right. So I kind of mixed the drum part already, but now I want to do more to each separate sample. And typically we would separate each sample to different tracks and then create effect sends where we could send different amounts of each effect to each return. But sometimes you just want to do it on one track. Maybe you're not adjusting or adding too many effects to different samples, maybe just one or two, or you just want the simplicity of doing it all in one track. And luckily in Reaper, we can, just by using different channels. For example, our clave part sounds kind of boring. It's pretty dry with no effects. Let's hear it again. So I'd like to add some delay and reverb to it. But if we add some delay and reverb on this track, let's put it at the end. Let's add a delay. I'll use read delay. And I'll make it a 16th note with some feedback. And it's gonna sound like this. And the clave sounds better, but now everything has that effect. And we don't want that. And the same for reverb. Let's add reverberate again to the end. Let's make the room a bit bigger and make it a bit brighter. But if we play it now, the reverb is going to be on everything. And we just want it on the clav. So let's turn it off right here. And let's use more channels to separate the clav from the other samples. So we'll go to our routing on the track. Notice the track channels are set to two, left and right. But we can create more and send our clave to that. Let's change this to four. And we'll use three and four for the clave. So we'll go to the clave sample. Go to the pins or the plugin pin connector on this plugin, which looks like this, and we'll switch it from one and two to send on three and four. So now we're not going to hear the clave as being sent to channel three and four, and we're only hearing one and two. We can mix back in channel three and four like this. We had another plugin. Down here, let's search mapper and we'll add the plugin channel mapper down mixer to the end of the chain. And what this plugin is going to do is it sends input one to output one and two, three, and four. So we could change three and four to go out one and two. So now we should hear the clave in our speakers going out one and two. And we do. And we could see it over here with the lights turning green 
when the clave is hit. So it sounds exactly the same, but the clave is on different channels. So we can treat those channels differently. Let's go to our delay and reverb. Let's put them right after the clave. I like to do that for organization purposes, just so I know it goes with the clave. But it has to be after the clave and before the channel mapper. Let's turn back on our delay and go to the plug and pin connector on the delay. And we'll switch this from input one and two to three and four and output three and four. So this delay will only affect the clave on channel three and four, like this. Perfect. And we'll do the same for the reverb. Turn it back on, go to the plug and pin connector, and switch this from one and two to three and four. So now our reverb will only be on the clave. Adjust it right here. Much better. And we could do this with any samples we want. In this case, we've only separated one of them. But let's say we also wanted to treat the clap differently. We can go to the clap and go to the plug and pin connector on it. And instead of changing the channels on our routing, we could do it right from here. Just switch it to six channels. We'll change the clap from one and two to five and six. And again, we're not going to hear the clap unless we combine it over here. Switch it from five and six to go out one and two. So now we will hear the clap. So now we can add different effects to the clap. Let's copy the delay and reverb and paste them. Let's put these after the clap. Again, just for organization purposes, and let's switch the delay with the plug-in pin connector to be five and six. So now the delay is only gonna be used for the clap. And we'll do the same with the reverb. Switch it to only be used on five and six, which we're using for the clap. So now let's turn off the reverb and just work on the delay, which should only work on the clap. But now we could change the delay time for the clap. And it's not going to affect the delay on the clave because it's a different delay than this one. Let's change this to 0.75, which will sound like this. and adjust the reverb as well. Again, it's only gonna be on the clap. I'm noticing it's too bright, so we'll turn up the dampening. Let's make it a bit shorter. Again, it's not affecting the clave because the effects are completely separate for the clap and the clave. So in this way, we completely separated different samples, but it's all still on the same track. And we could do the same thing with compression or EQ. Let's say the hi-hat is too bright. We can add an EQ to that. Go to the plug and pin connector on the hi-hat. Let's add two more channels and send the hi-hat to those. We'll use seven and eight. We'll go to the channel mapper and send seven and eight to one and two. So we're gonna hear the hi-hat coming out one and two, even though it's using channels seven and eight. So now we can add an EQ just for channels seven and eight. Let's use re-EQ. Let's delete all the bands except for one and switch it to a low pass. Change the plug-in connector. 
So it's coming in on seven and eight and going out on seven and eight. Let's put it before the channel mapper, but after the hi-hat, so the CQ will only be used on the hi-hat. Before, let's hear it completely before. And after, with our delays and reverbs and the EQ for the hi hat. So, doing it this way gives us more control of each sample in our drum part or any samples we're using. And we can do it all on one track just by using different channels on that track and then combining them with the channel mapper down mixer. So that's pretty much it. That's separating effects on one track in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.